Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucid, and I am joined once again by Maryland. Howdy, gamers. So, uh, we have a pretty exciting turn for you here. Uh, it's turn 115. And, uh, yeah, we'll start off with the message from Pangea. Uh, so TLDR, our strength here isn't... Uh, an individual death ball, and therefore we can't guarantee a win on any particular throne. By covering more different thrones, we give ourselves the most possible chances of a punt where a throne isn't properly defended by the other players, and we get closer to a win by default. But it also makes it more expensive for every throne um, to get everyone to cover it. Uh, it means more gems spent on more different magic phase attacks, while also ensuring that each army can be more easily replaced. Therefore, each throne can be attacked again. Uh, we're still going to be using one super magic phase attack next turn, which will be expensive, but even that uh, is going to have, e uh, have extra value as a strong point in general, uh, as a strong point in the general anti Vanheim alpha strike. And while we're going for the chance of winning, uh, while we're going for the chance of winning outright, based on what I've seen the other players do, I shouldn't win this game in two turns, but if I do, then GG, and if I don't, I'm still in a better position than anyone else to keep pushing for the thrones while my, while maintaining my economic advantage. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Wow. Like, he's he's leaning into the idea that he's, you know, actually pushing for the win, and he's trying to make people do expensive things to counter him. Yeah, I'm... If you... Uh... It, it's very difficult to defend multiple locations against strong armies because you need a bigger, stronger army. And yeah, it's tough. It's very tough. Um, I've I've been I've been on the bad side of that before, and it's a hell of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Um, okay. So next, we have a message from Ashdod, who's probably the most active in fighting Pangea at the moment. Uh, leveling up to higher commitment fights, uh, the cubes require special toolkits. It's like an ebb and flow. This time I raid lots of places, next time he does. Of course, all this is in my lands, so he doesn't mind. Any normal nation would not be able to bear the attrition, but Pan is twice my, twice my size or more and stupidly OP from his blood discount site. I wonder if that will ever change. I mean, he's actually kind of the most in a position to try to take that blood discount site from Pan. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, if so, I remember the map, it's kind of deep. Yeah, he'd have to win some major battles, but... Um, yeah, okay, so... Uh, oh, I'm unleashing a few assassins on the former Anuki site this turn. He's got dryads in there preaching, their little hearts out, holding water bottles. You throw poo, I throw poo. Feels good. At this point, pretty sure Pan realizes I have domes on my thrones. If anything scary comes, I'm prepared to suicide the casting mages to get off some flames from the sky, but it's not like I'm Jim Rich. Each turn, I'm basically spending what I make or more while at war. Yeah. And then from Pelagia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Another turn of extremely lazy scripting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he's just managing his time commitment here because um, for this, for him to have a shot at winning this game, it probably needs to go another 40 turns. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so where do you want to start? Maybe the... Uh, maybe finish up. Let's see what's left of Ulm. Yeah, okay, that's great. So let's do that. So... You know, Ulm is, we've been talking for forever about how Ulm's, you know, dying out. And uh, here he continues to die out. He loses some vampires here. And this is a massive army. Yeah. 70 white God. centaurs, 60 so, demons of various kinds. Yeah. Oh, no, and then 70 storm demons. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's rough. And did he get soul slayed or oh, and was he, it just killed? Oh, well... Maybe. No, probably not. Probably not Soul Slade. But, um... But yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, the only reason he didn't pop this uh, throw in this turn is because Ulm Iron Walled it. Yeah. Uh, you can see it's got <laughs> 1,700 Siege Defense. This is probably... 
I mean, I would guess seven or eight hundred seed strength. So. Uh yeah, yeah, I I would think in that range. Um. Okay, oh, and then so. Pan left a token force. Right. It'll be kind of interesting just to see what Pan does here. Just this is a budget. Hey, if you stick your head out, we're gonna try to kill you, squad. No, uh, nothing. Okay, so this is interesting. This is a. Oh. What is this? Mm, fire elementals. And a lifelong. Oh, he did Phoenix Power. Okay, so this is a. Um, this is one of his mages. The um, the adepts of the. I don't know the. Mm -hmm. The golden, golden order. order. Yeah, right? golden that he's, order. Uh, transformed. And he has a fair amount of gear on him. I mean, this is, you know, 40 slaves, and this is, uh, uh, this is 15 gems, so. Oh my gosh, and the life for life's coming out from Ulm now. Deleted the pan. Yeah, it sure did. And this guy's making yeah. a fire elemental. Just fire element. Oh, pillars of fire. So. Yeah. Did that kill the soulless? It looks or something did. Yeah, something came and killed that soulless. I don't know if it was the air elemental Maybe the or air elemental. fire, but yeah, and this vampire is not not looking too too hot here. Yeah. Yeah. Poof. Oh, he's okay. like serpent, Chris, little dude. <laughs> oh, that's a good size army for Ohm. Must yeah. be one of the last ones he's got left. He uh, actually a lost a, a fair amount of gold. I mean, six black knights mm -hmm. is, uh, I mean, that's like 300 gold. So, um, but yeah. But it's a fraction of the size of the thing beside it. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, this army cannot fight this, I don't think, in any in any way, shape, or form. No. And uh, coming down here, we've got uh, Pan taking this fort, which had some vampire lords inside of it. And that's it. Uh, no, actually, this I don't think this was a storming, so I think there was an Ulm army on top of this that he kicked off. Oh, broke siege, yeah. Yeah. Ulm losing a small force here, and really just, this is the, the final bits of blood leaving all the capillaries. Yeah, he doesn't have much left. This is a kind just of cool a lifelong thing. protection. Yeah, lifelong protection. So using Golem. the whip of command to get all, which is going to give him an extra shot at not having ring of returning triggered. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he's soul slaying. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Why are there no? Is that not an infernal protection? Because I don't see imps. Oh, I think this is protection. Oh, of Garion. protection of Garion. Oh, okay, okay. Now there you go. Off he goes back home. Yeah. <clears throat> so he didn't do much, but no, nope. it's a harassment. Yeah, wasted a few gems on teleport, and that's about it. Um, I've got some construction going on in the background. If it gets real loud, I'm gonna put myself on a uh, push to talk here. Okay, I haven't heard anything yet. Okay. I, well, it sounded like maybe a cough, but... Uh, okay, Pangea fails... Oh, no, he attacks with two vampires and one. God, there's a lot of PD here, too. And Ulmish PD is pretty good in general. So Vortex, Skellies, pretty basic stuff. Yeah. Well, they hold up pretty good with the Hand of Death and the Vortex. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. Oh. I think this okay, guy got, got hit by a crossbow. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, he got it. Yeah. So there you go. <clears throat> Minus some PD there. Um, what was this? Special Monsters? Okay, send some horrors at Ulm, too. Um, That's about it for yeah. Ulm. Yeah. I mean, his cap is... Where is it? This is his cap. So his cap's under siege. The few vampires coming in... Popped out, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, but he sent them packing. This is interesting. I wonder if... Th I think this was... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, the Nature Ravenous Swarm. Let's see. Strength of Gaia. Or Storm of Thorns. Oh, no. Storm no? of Thorns. No? 
How many thorns? Because it didn't have gems. No gems on those guys. Yeah, I guess this is just Storm of Thorns, and it's winning the skeleton war here. It is. Well, he moved up. Right. Because it's three vampires worth of skeletons versus two. Mm. Um, but here, it's Storm of Thorns is just thinning him out fast enough. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Are these guys geared at all? No? no. No gear, no gems. That's a nature five. That's oh, wow. an empowered path. Wow. No, Storm no, no. Of no. Thorns he put just up strength disrespect gear. vampires up close. Holy shit. Did you mm -hmm. see that's one hit kill? I mean, you might as well be I like did. dust to dust or something. Well, precision was pretty good because those were tight groupings. Yeah. Okay. So that is, uh, that's the Ulm Pangea conflict. Yeah. yeah, I think summary is Pan could just take his time and uh, siege down forts. Unless somebody else moves into Ulm to stop him, he, that's, he could just however long he wants to take. Yeah. I'm going to pause real quick and put my, myself on push to talk. I have a feeling it's about to get loud. Okay, uh, I'm back. I, I got construction going on in the background, but at least you won't hear it unless I'm talking now, so... Yeah. Um, maybe we move on to Vanheim? Yeah, go for it. It doesn't look like a lot going on. Oh. Yeah, so we've got a battle here. Not too much happening. Did they just catch a scout? That's yeah, that, that was a like. scout, I think. Okay, and then... Oh, that's just some... That's a funny event. Uh, <laughs> Got attacked by attack. Trox and steal some of them? That's not bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trogs are strange units. Look at that doom stack of pans. Yeah. So like, what, is what do it? you do? There's not a throne. He Where's the throne? The throne is here. So right this there. Is, right this there. is threatening this throne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And man, that's a massive threat. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge... Look it's, at the it's size got the of that. PNS broadcasting station here too. Right, right, exactly. Wow. I do. Is there no other action for Vanheim? No. Uh, I don't think it. so. I didn't see a lot of flags for him. Um, I think no. they just the only flag I saw was that scout. And then and then he's got another throne he could go for, right there. Right. And look at that. He's got two separate armies, kind of eyeballing it from two directions. Yeah. That's Ashdod. Yeah, so Van still really hasn't moved. Yeah, I mean, just by Pan putting on all this pressure, like this army checking this throne, it's going to make it real hard for Vanheim to get super aggressive too. You know, like he yeah, can't... it's just there's a huge check on. Yeah, I could I can sort of put myself in the position of Vanheim, the player, going Jesus. If I move this way, he does that. If I move that way, he does this. You know, which way do I go? <laughs> And yeah. if I split too, if I split too thin, I'll just get stack white. Right. Uh, okay, so I guess let's come up here. I think the most meaty part of this turn is going to be the Ashdod pan, uh, Ashdod pan conflict. So that sure is what it looks like. Small raiding force so. here. Let's just see how this is kitted out. It's five Anakites, twenty-five Shed. Um, he's going to need a way to bless all these guys. Uh. Okay. Well, oh, oh, no, he doesn't have to bless. bless. He yeah. doesn't have to bless the shed. Right. I keep forgetting they're not sacred. No, no, they're just sort of bigger storm demons right. for about the same price. Yeah. Right, a lich. They don't have buffs storm a power. Real though, army. So. No, they don't have storm power. That's a good size army for Ashdod. It's not humongous, but it's it oh, looks wait. solid. I Probably a community. For... I did push to talk for Discord, not for the recording. One second, let me fix it again. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have a, a battle here with uh, Pangea and Ashdod. Yeah, it looks like Pan just doing a token. I mean, it's not an insignificant raid, but that wasn't going to kill a real army. Right. Unless it's empowered for wind to death or something. No. No, it's cursed, though. No, it's... It's also lost a lot of hit points already. Oh, there's soul slays wonder... coming out. Or enslaved mines. Oh. They might... Oh. Oh, oh look. Oh, it... uh... No, it was killed. 
I think. Okay, yeah, not Soul Slate here, so. No, he was just killed. But he only had a couple of hit points. Did you see that right at the beginning? He was already oh, down I, hit points. I didn't notice that. Yeah, he had a big red line. Oh, yeah, how about that? Four hit yeah, points. Yeah, look at that, only four hit points. <clears throat> so I wonder if something in magic, magic phase, attack, right? Something hit him in magic phase. Yeah, maybe a flame from the sky that. Well, I didn't realize this until I was doing some flames from the sky. Sometimes go off target. Do they really? I've never heard. <laughs> yeah, of that. they do. No, we had a couple of them. It happened that they they went off target. They hit the wrong province. It's an expensive thing to go wrong. Yeah, and uh, I mean, this is pretty intense. There's some really mm -hmm. big... Ashlot's finally moving these stacks out of some of these forts. Okay, so he's catching a revenant. Okay. And this is a beefy, dude. Look at this. Two firebrands. Yeah, yeah. Stuff for full vortex. Oh, he's got moss body. I mean, this guy is beefy. Yeah, and... Vorta yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this would stack wipe anything that wasn't going to be doing, like, like they could possibly charm this or something, but, I mean, this guy is beefy. Mm. Yeah, he's pretty solid. Oh, yeah, he just eats the Storm Demons. Yeah, just disrespecting them. <clears throat> yeah, and look at his regen, 38. Yeah. So, you know... I guess, you know, yeah, Ashdod's lucky this guy didn't run into, like, an army that had a lot of charm or something like that. And Pan's lucky he didn't move in a stack to get wiped by that, so... Well, the other one that could make a big mess of that guy is Ravenous Swarm. Yeah, that would probably be... Might be enough to get through that regen. Yeah, probably. Another couple of Vampire Lords. That bounced up against something legit. What did it bounce up? Oh, against? some storm demons oh. and some oh, fiends storm of darkness. Demons. I mean, yeah. I'm sure the fiends of darkness just jumped right over. Jump by fiends and oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, very quick. That was quick. Okay. Oh, we got oh. a little battle here. Oh. Here's some of the cube fun. This is Pan using cubes. All right, and this was one of the one of the things that Ashdod was uh, saying they were worried about. Like they you have to be careful deploying things because of the cubes. Well, you don't want to use some lose something valuable to the cubes, and you can. What was that? Oh, that guy's geared up pretty heavy. Is that just a single white centaur? Oh, yeah, it's a white centaur. It's not Chad a Chad White centaur. This guy with a uh, bloodstone and a moonblade. I guess the moonblade hmm. maybe for water elementals. I'm not sure. Maybe. Or maybe in case an assassin shows up. I don't know which assassinations would... Well, Moonblades would probably chew up an Earth Elemental, an Earth Attack. Yeah, probably yeah. And it might be he had one sitting in the lab. No, I know. You get into late game and sometimes your lab's full of miscellaneous stuff that you're like, well, I gotta stick it somewhere. Oh my god, this guy thugged. Oh, look at that. With all this expensive that. caster gear, he jumps him in. Huh. How about well, that? Go. It just gets ended by the Zanzamite. Yeah. Yeah, that kills the cubes quick. Ooh, bleeding. Yeah, and they... Oh, well, some of them Ooh, survived the cube. Go on. Okay, they're just PD anyhow. Oh, yeah, okay. So, no big deal. Well, that was entertaining. Yeah, mostly, I mean, we haven't really, except for the one fight with Ohm. No, we well, haven't seen army versus here. army. This is, yeah. this is raid versus raid. But so far, it's looking pretty good for Ashdod. I mean, he's had, so far, all the raids have gone to his favor this turn that we've seen. You know, he's killed this yeah, vampire I lord. The, I bet you the province graph will look pretty good for him. He'll, Did he kill him with an earth gnome thug? Earth gnome... Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that! Yes! I've never seen anybody thug one of these things. I've thugged them before, but never with this much gear. This is beautiful. I wonder if that's just, like I said, that whole idea of leftover gear. I mean, that, that guy has like 50 gems of gear on him. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty funny. 
They don't even have nat native eat regen, do they? Earth gnomes. Honestly, they I think the barbs are going to kill anything. me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they did. Oh, the yeah. barb PD. The, one of the many problems with earth gnome thugs is they're slow as shit. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> with quickness, it's combat speed six. <laughs> oh my. Good grief. Well, that is funny. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody. All I've ever done with those things is I just use them as spare independent commanders to move stuff around. Yeah. So a bunch of main ads get killed. But yeah, the vampire so lords get killed. Here, uh, you know, Ashdod wins against. Uh, I wonder what the Skellies versus is. Skellies. Yeah. Oh, he's got two vampires. <laughs> a lot of that. That's why. Well, and they each have a slave. Oh, oh and they did reinvigoration, so the amount of long yeah. dead generated by this side is going to far. And they have better long dead. Oh, right. They got the great big guys, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got those guys at All-Stars playing yeah. Mammon. Man, they are beasts. They are so good. Well, so, geez. I mean, he won that one, he wins this one, he wins this one. Yeah, like a quick summary on the province oh, graph. Might, two Pangean might vampires, point. you know, sent back to base. Hmm. Uh, he loses this one to a Lich. This might be interesting to watch. Hmm. And he had one ghost along. No, he had oh, a few ghosts. That's four. Oh, dust for dust. Wither bones. Yeah, I mean, oh. Oh, kills the... Oh! Wow. Just yeets him right there in melee with drain life. Really? Wow. I think with these ghosts he would have won, but it's yeah, just. I thought uh, he was going to, but but he attacked rear. Yeah. Which could have been good, you know. He could have killed the 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 vampire or the lich, but it just didn't work out that way. It didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Takes that back. Okay, so looks like, let's take a look at the score graph, like you were saying. Yeah, I was just curious, the province's graph. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, he's not back to where he was when the war started, but he's pretty fucking, no, but, he's pretty freaking close. Yeah, it's doing okay. Yeah, just nothing happened for Vanheim. Yeah, I think the first turn of war, I think, can start, I think orders can be issued this turn, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't we agree that once he sieges enough thrones, that whole that whole deal is over, right. and it's they can attack right now. Yeah, I, I don't. We haven't heard. Nobody's mentioned that, but no. I think I think technically that requirement has been uh, met. So I think Vanheim could attack him. I calculated it was met. It looked to me like it was met. Yeah, I think. But so. But he also has to be in position, and he has yeah. to decide. And I don't see Pelagi doing anything. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if I were Pelagia, I wouldn't really feel obligated to keep the game from ending. You know, like, no, the no, idea of, he, he may... should like build up while maybe doing a few things to help keep Pan from winning. But like, his play to win doesn't involve throwing himself on the sword. And yeah, he's made, yeah, he's made his play. He made his play, and it was a strong play, and it, it went to shit. So, yeah. But, you know, if, if everybody else manages to beat Pan back down, he can maybe get in on the spoils, keep Nexus up for, you know, while, while Nexus is up, he could maybe start staging a comeback. But um, Oh, but my God, like, a comeback starting on turn 110 is just an exhausting thing to consider. Yeah, it really is. I, I've got one of those right now, and I'm just like, oh. <clears throat> yeah. So, but, you know, there's potentially we're going to maybe see some interesting battles. I mean, one thing that's really interesting is here you can see he's got a lot of Fanatics of the Deep. Or Fanatic yes. Deep ones. These are sacred units. Um, so it's a kind and of weird thing that you can do with High Astral. Is this fort cracked? Uh, this fort is not. The, no, the, the oh, this one. one. Oh, yeah, this one is. So. Okay, so next turn we might see serious action there if he decides not to just give it up. Yeah, let's take a look at all the thrones. So, you know, we've got um, this throne uh, being attacked, right? It's got iron walls on it. This throne being attacked has iron walls on it, but these will get worn through reasonably quickly. This throne's being checked. 
Mm -hmm. So within this column, there are two thrones being attacked and one throne being checked. And to remind everybody, um, Pangea has six thrones and we need eight to win. So he only needs to get two of these. Um, so he's got the any, five you can see plus the throne of death. Any of any two of what he's threatening, right. if he gets, it's game. I th and I think the one, I mean, the ones that make most sense to get would be these two, right? But yeah. he also could potentially <clears throat> harvest some... Uh, from this border, which I don't think he has many. There's a Vanheim one. There's an Ashdod one. This one, I think, looks, depending on how... Yeah, this one, I would... Assuming this stuff's sitting within this fort, I would not want to mess with that at all. Nobody's sitting there beside it, threatening it continuously. Right. And, and that's effective, because that right. means... So the other question is, are any of his well-guarded thrones under threat? And I don't think so. Yeah, we should look at that, too. Um, so this throne yeah, is being checked by a pretty enormous army here, which is probably going to come over here and trickle onto it. Now, because Ashtod has heat scales, he should be able to navigate this mountain pass. Mm -hmm. um, well, it looks open to me. Yeah. Actually, that doesn't look like a mountain pass here. I can't see the additional color. Oh. No, it is. Yeah, but it's yeah. open. It's it's yeah. the light, the light orange. Yeah. So this one's <clears throat> under check. This pan throne doesn't really have much threatening it at the moment. And... Yeah, and we know pan can teleport and gateway. Right. That one, he's got a good threat to that one. You know, uh, I... Maybe. You know, he's got some fe some storm demons, some fiends of darkness. Uh, you know, it just depends. what Van Vanheim doesn't have many high quality units. We mostly see chaff here. So it's possible he could take this one too. But, well, I think what I mean by that is he's just, like you said, the word check is an appropriate word right. there. That, you know, Van cannot really come out of that fort and sally forth. At the same time, Pan can kind of sit there and say, well, if you move, I'm going to take your throne. Yeah, and I think, you know, based on what Sai said, he's trying to put a lot of pressure on the thrones without necessarily going all in on them, right? So That's right. he's not going to take, if this is all like the major military he has in the region, based on what he said, he's not going to take this army and put it on this throne because then he wouldn't have anything right. left in this region. And right, and once he sits on a throne, he's vulnerable to remotes. So, right. you know, he can't be wind of death and, and gem burned if he's sitting inside his forts. So that's the right. fleet and being idea, right? The right. idea that a great big fleet sitting in port threatens the other guy that if you come out, I'm going to stomp you. Yeah, so that's, that's I, I think in summary, that. I think this front with Vanheim, Pan is not positioned to make major aggressive moves, but he's just going no. to be over here and make Vanheim keep military units. Um, over here with Ashdod, he's potentially able to make military moves, like major ones, but it would mean like very decisive, like for him to move out major, major armies like this one, it would mean very decisive conflicts with Ashdod, which I don't think he's going to want to do. So I think he's going to just try to slowly bleed Ashdod out. Mm -hmm. Just continue the raiding thing without doing anything major commitment uh, in terms of a major commitment. And I think the thrones he's going to go for are going to be this, these Ulmish ones, which... yeah. Pelagia is really the only one that's going to maybe defend this one. Maybe Vanheim could, right? Well, that's kind of what I was thinking is the thrones that could be under threat from a counterattack to slow this throne rush are the ones around the Pelagian Sea. Those are the, the there's the three there. That yeah. I mean, I don't four. see it though, really. I mean, this. Well, I don't either, but I, it's just from a map yeah. analysis viewpoint. Those are the three. But it would require Pelagia to very aggressively go at one of them. I mean, to be and quite frankly, they've beaten the shit out of Pelagia for like 30 turns, you know? So uh, yeah, I don't think he has it. <laughs> well, and I think to do it, he would have to denude all his forts over to his, um, to his west, pull everybody back. And does he really want to do that? It's, is he that motivated to keep the game going? Right. Yeah, I, I don't... There's no reason for Pelagia to do anything like an all-in defense here, I don't think. I think it's I think you're better off letting the game end and yeah. going all in on a defense when your only play to win is to do some eco play and let other people do some of the heavy lifting. And you know what? There's an awful lot of people in the community that are sounding burned out. 
<laughs> I mean, you've taken a break. I'm feeling burned out. I heard Arco comment he's feeling burned out. I know Nick Knight in other games is quite burned out. There's just a lot of burnout right now. I think we need a new fresh patch or yeah. some kind of reinvigoration. There's just even in the new tournament, I'm I'm hearing that coming out of people that they're tired. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Um, I mean, God knows I've, we need. I've played plenty of hours of Dominions. I probably could use a, you know, just how much how much can one expect somebody to play this game without taking a nice uh, long break from the from the cancerous diplomacy of multiplayer? I, I, a hell of a lot, I, from a personal perspective, but there does come. But I've slowed down at times. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm kind of thinking that for the community, maybe what we need is some really good, fresh ideas. I've seen a couple more draft games coming up. Uh, there's some yeah. other new ideas. I mean, honestly, if, like, I think the easiest low-hanging fruit to maybe give a little booster shot to the community would be if, like, there's some, there's definitely some work in the, I think, like, some work in the Bless system to improve oh. Prove it you mean from yeah from ill winner mm. yeah like that i think that would give a it would make a lot of people excited to, to play because it would shift the meta up some like make quickness Definitely. only require magic two instead of magic three and maybe take or maybe only make it require magic one right that well, would and, decrease and the cost drop, and drop it by one path maybe so it's not quite maybe so well i think you do either or you could decrease the magic cost from like three to one you could do the you could decrease the path cost by one just make it a little bit cheaper I, somehow i was thinking more about fan driven things to revive the community uh, like i mean try new try alternate victory conditions like your champions arena yeah. idea and, and stuff like that yeah i mean i think the other thing is like people just naturally need to take breaks and you know people take yes, breaks and do. come back I'll, I'll be back playing multiplayer at some point but it's probably going to be another year or so so um, anyway, I well, think just... we have done this turn. I, I, I think I'm going to keep casting stuff. Um, so this is fun. Um, but just the yeah, multiplayer good. stuff's too intense for me. So. Yeah, sounds good. Um, okay, so uh, that was a 30 minute episode, pretty quick. Let's uh, maybe we can record another one. And uh, to all the viewers, we'll see you on turn 116. Alrighty. Bye, guys.